Hello and welcome to the GoGen video cast. Today is Sunday, April 24th, and um, I don't have any real yarny goodness to show you today. I've been winding yarn for my owl and I've made a swatch for my owl. So uh, next Sunday will be the 1st of May. And that means that it will be another term starting for the Harry Potter House Cup. So that's the day that I'm going to try to start my owl next term. So I should have uh, some yarny information for you then. But for today, I really um, am just going to do the walkthrough and plan with me in my Foxy Fix Faux Midori Traveler's Notebook. And in my Color Crush from Webster's Pages, personal size. So the first thing I did want to mention, though, is that um, I wanted to give a shout out to Doris on the Knit and Pearl podcast. She kindly allowed me to send her a set of stitchy markers, which I did, uh, and for a giveaway on her podcast. And... Um, I'm just blown away by the traffic that the Etsy shop has gotten. Lots of people go in there and uh, favoriting different items, liking different things. And so I just want to say thank you so much, Doris. I appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't watched her podcast, you should give it a, a try. It is the Knit and Pearl, P-E-A-R-L podcast on YouTube. So definitely go by and say hello. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to start with the walkthrough in my traveler's notebook. This is really making me happy. Um, I am keeping up. Well, there you go. In my, this is my habit tracker and this is my crafting tracker um and i apologize if you can hear me if i sound stopped up i am uh i have been taking zyrtec and so I've, i'm trying to stop taking zyrtec because i'm napping my way through the days <laughs> so not that i don't love a good nap um but i am really enjoying these as always and let's see Here's where we should have started last week, and I got that super duper yin yang um, washi tape that I think is just fabulous because I'm a Libra, and the Libra horoscope sign is all about the balance, and that's what the yin yang is all about in the Eastern culture. So uh, I've kind of taken that on as a symbol for myself. And I have just had some fun with these de uh, decorating these pages. You see, these are just some flower stickers. And I just scattered them through before I did any journaling. And then I just kind of journal around them. That makes me happy. Um, washi tape for decoration. And if you've noticed, I've been trying to move some Zentangles back into my journal. Uh, I haven't lost it. I haven't forgot about them. They are still um, very much, well, here's another square that I just filled with the Zentangle Quandary. And to me, that looks almost like a sticker, but it's not. I drew, I did that. Yay. Um, so this is just washi tape. And I have enjoyed not having a set pattern or anything like that to be doing. Um, so... Uh, it's, I looked at that and I thought it said January and I was going, this isn't January, it's April. Okay, it's Saturday. It was yesterday. And so here I'm ready to start journaling today. I have been playing with a social media trainer, planner tracker or trainer. You could swoosh it together. Um, because I feel the need sometimes especially on uh, video day, I try to hit all of the social media and announce that another video is up. And that can get 
overwhelming uh, because you're trying to remember, okay, did I do Instagram? I think I did Pinterest. What do I have to do next? Oh, and it's just... It's just not easy to remember, so I'm going to try to make a, a sketch out a, a tracker for that. But I also need to be planning things more than just my weekly uh, video cast. So I'm working about on that, and especially when am I going to put updates for the Stitchy Marker Etsy shop? Um, so I'm really, I'm really thinking about this. I don't really like the way this came out. It's not exactly what I want, so I'm still tinkering with that. And that's one of the things I really love about my my journal is you just keep working with it until it's what you need it to be. There's, I love that. It's, it's going to be totally personalized for me. This is my bullet journal. And just like always that I'm doing um, this month and have started this month, I have my list of tasks and things to get done here on the left side. And on the right, I have the Plan With Me Challenge from Boho Berry on Instagram and on her YouTube channel. So I've enjoyed doing that too. This is just like the Lister's Got a List Challenge, which is back here. Um, that it, it makes me think. It makes me think. Is that working? If not, you need to change it. Um, you need, and it makes you think about what's important and what's not. I like this quote, when you're ready to give up, remember why you started. So I like that a lot. And so I'm ready to keep going with that. And in my bullet journal and my listers got a list, these are just going to be ongoing. They're not going to be a finished book like my journal here. I've got a couple pages here to fill up before next Sunday. So, and then I will file this away and start with a new journal for the month of May. So hold on and let me get my stickers and everything to do my plan with me in my color crush. BRB. Okay, and here I am ready to do the plan with me. This is the current week in my, um, or the week that we're finishing up here, in my Color Crush Planner. That was last week. I'll show you that spread in just uh, when we're done with this. So, here we go. Let's see. Um, last Sunday, I did want to make a note on this page that I, I added four pair of earrings to the Stitchy Marker shop. Um, they've been getting a lot of views, so that's a good thing. All right, this week. What happened this week? Um, on Monday, here we go, where is Monday? Monday, I uh, worked with the social media tracker. SOC, that's a C. And I thought about what did I want it to be? Um, did I want it to be a whole big spread? Do I want to continue it in future? Um, journals what what is it that I need it to tell me what kind of statistics do I want from it and that kind of thing um, and I made a let's see I'll put that I made a sock yarn or started a sock yarn blanket square in the tink yarn I showed it to you it was about halfway finished on the podcast last week um, when I was outside, it was just a small thing and I finished it up and it is from the Tink Yarn, uh, Magically Delicious. So that, that was a thing that I needed to do. All right. Um, Tuesday, 
Tuesday I'd had a lot of errands to run. Um, oh, before I go too far, let me put some stickers down that I know I want to use. Because some of them you can come back afterwards and, and do stickers, but some of them you want to put down um, before so that you make sure you leave room for them. Keeping up with my what week it is, and I'm, I'm saving $10 cash money every week, like Felicia Mouse Potatoes told me to do, um, in the Fobonichi Journalers group. And that's mainly just, I'm saving up for my, um, my vacation, I think. And I've used these little, these little girls from the Scarlet Lime Planner Society. I used to be a member of that and get the package every month. I don't anymore, but I've still got my stickers. And I still think that they're just amazing. Yay, they're pretty and I will color it in. Um... And that kind of thing. I'll leave that up here just in case. And phrases. I don't know if you have any of these kind of phrase sheets. Um, I do, and then I have I have kind of trouble with remembering to use them. And it, it's hard to find one that's uh, absolutely perfect. Just another ordinary day. I think that was Wednesday of the week. And that gives it a different look if you have the little word stickers. I was trying to find a sticker for Thursday since we lost Prince um, and the world the world lost a, a great talent when he when he passed away Thursday so I don't know. And there's only one color you can use for prints. And that's purple. He will be missed. He really will. Um, And I don't just mean to have just empty airs here. I'm just, I've got these stickers and I'm looking, um, I don't know. Okay, this is the good stuff. This was Saturday when I got to hang out with my grandson. That is definitely good stuff. Because he's a fun, fun, fun guy. All right, anyway, let me go back to Tuesday. Um, I had a real trouble with allergies. The pollen is so thick. It just covers your windshield from the time you go out. And, you know, when you park in the morning at work to when you go back to come home in the evening, there's a layer of pollen uh, on the windshield. And it's just, it's miserable. Everybody's coughing. Everybody's got... Sinus drainage, uh, it's, it's just misery. On this day, I went to the bank. I went to O'Kelly's, which is a shop that has the best. It's not homemade because they're a shop, but they it tastes like homemade. Uh, they make it there on site. Chicken salad with all white meat that I absolutely love. And they have a great pimento cheese that they use uh, white cream cheese instead of cheddar. Oh, I love that stuff. I could just, and I, this week I have, I've had it for lunch every day and that makes me happy. I'm, I'm good and boring, um, like that. Procrastinating. Jeez, it's, you know, you write a word like that and you forget what you're doing halfway through. Um, On Wednesday, I uh, took one of my owl yarns and I, uh, 
I wound a skein into a ball using my ball winder, which um, it's not always easy, but you do what you can. Let's see. And see, I write myself notes, and then I don't know what it meant. YouTube. Wednesday. Oh, I think I watched a lot of YouTube. That's... <laughs> It's like I know I didn't upload anything that day. I do have my podcasts and my shows that I do like to watch. We don't have regular TV in the house anymore. We have Apple TV. My husband watches that mostly in uh, Hulu and Netflix. And then I, I just love my YouTube. Um, okay, sorry. I got sidetracked as always. Um, I was not able to donate blood, and that made me sad this week. My iron was 12.4, and if you know, you have to have 12.5. Isn't that ridiculous? I know, I was just one, one thing short. One-tenth of a measuring unit, and I don't even know what the measuring unit is for iron in your blood, but I, she stuck me twice just to see, and both fingers, I was one-tenth low, so that was sad. I, and I take a multivitamin, but very, very sad. They wouldn't let me give blood. Let's see. <clears throat> I think I probably need to use a purple bear for Thursday in honor of Prince. I love these bears. They are from Black Beard Prince. Dearly do love them. Um, was not able to Oh, that's supposed to be donating. It's not. <laughs> Line through it and keep going. Because it's not even something I could get the white out and change because it's um, on a purple sticker. And I also started... An owl swatch on that day. Okay, Friday was payday, and I did not pay bills because it was a short day at work, and I was in a hurry to get out of there. Um, let me see. It's no fun if I do this, if I do the peeling off camera and then come in, is it? It's just no fun at all. But the weekend. Kind of here. Like so. And um, then Saturday, my daughter had something to do. My uh, son-in-law had to work. And so it was uh, an E-Day for me. And that's my grandson. And I felt so bad with my head congestion and everything that I basically uh, laid on the sofa and watched TV while he played. Um, he's got a gaming computer, so he was playing games on that. And I watched In and Out, the movie. And I enjoyed it very much. Okay, so then I kept him from about 9.30 to 2.30, and then I napped. And I was taking my Zyrtec, Z-Y-R-T-E-C. Okay, and today is, of course, my 
video cast day. It was a pretty boring week. Yep. Yes, indeed. Um, so Sunday is my YouTube day. I did a lot. Um, I think Friday and Saturday, so I'm just going to put it right here, of fixing some of the titles and tags in my Etsy shop. I've been watching videos on um, uh, the things that you need to do for your search engine optimization, which is SEO on uh, Etsy that helps put your shop up towards the top when people search. So, um, that's what I was doing. Um, I know that's not a real dove, but that's what I did. And I Etsy shop. So, anyway, that is going to be it for the week. A lot of times I do um, come back and like this is dog paws. My dogs are with me all the time. So I'll put a dog paw around because they hang out with me when I feel bad and they're with me when I feel good. So I can't do without them. All right. And that's that. I thank you very much for coming and spending some time with me today. Um, I hope you are very lucky and with your crafting and I hope you stay well boy hopefully the rains will come and wash the pollen away um, until I see you next week I wish you a week filled with love and laughter <laughs>